What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week, unfortunately, we're talking about Zana Samsonova, who is a influencer who died this past week. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because she was promoting a raw vegan diet where all she ate was uh, raw fruits and vegetables. She apparently died of malnutrition. And one of the reasons I am so passionate about misinformation is because misinformation harms people. Not only had this gal been the victim of misinformation herself, but she was also propagating misinformation. I had people message me and say, like laughing about this, and I don't find this funny. This is not funny. I'm not like, ah, see, this influencer was promoting misinformation and they died. No, they were a victim themselves too. And I think this is really underappreciated. And so many people say to me, Lane, you know, who cares? Just let them have their misinformation or let them say whatever they want. They're entitled to their opinion. You know, you're entitled to your opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts, all right? This sort of stuff contributes to so much food anxiety, so many disordered eating patterns. This poor gal, I, I don't know for sure, but she was probably anorexic. And I'll never forget, I did a video on Paul Saladino was talking about how oatmeal was bad. A psychiatrist who works in a eating disorder clinic messaged me and said, thank you so much for doing that video. We just got a girl who's 75 pounds to start eating oatmeal and she saw Paul's video and stopped. Like this is somebody who's in danger of dying. These videos demonizing these foods, all they do is harm these people. And this is a much more prevalent problem than anyone really understands, okay? Eating disorders have the highest fatality rate of any mental health disorder, including depression. So when you tell me, just let these people say whatever they want, Lane, you're just jealous, or you're just a hater, or whatever it is, no, I feel an obligation to correct this stuff because I coached so many people over the years who had eating disorders or who were victims of misinformation or food anxiety or felt like they couldn't eat anything because of these different, the, all this misinformation. And honestly, if you watched every Netflix documentary on nutrition, you followed every major influencer, you'd feel like you'd have nothing left to eat. And some people don't. And that's why they're dying. And so don't tell me not to talk about this stuff because I absolutely will. I feel horrible for this girl and her family. This is shit that is completely preventable if we just stop with this fear-based information. If you are promoting your diet, your supplements, your health facility, whatever it is that you're doing, based off fear, you are partially to blame and this shit is partially on you. I hope you're happy.